On this week's show, a tease for Peloton Nutrition, and Peloton permanently drops the price of the guide to $95. Plus, a water leak at PSNY cancels a few classes. Bex Gentry is running seven marathons in seven days around the world, and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 185 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm John Pruitt. I'm joined with my co-host, Amanda Siegel. How are you doing, Amanda? Good to I see you. Good, John. How are you? Good, good week. I enjoyed my uh, my Wednesday off from from live classes. And I I took care of some appointments. I didn't have to yeah. have FOMO, missing any <laughs> any live content. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I and mean, we'll talk about it in one of the stories. But I gotta say that I think um, it actually was a pretty good move. I had I I did the same thing. I mean, I worked out really hard, you know, um, the weekend and Monday, Tuesday, and it was really nice to just. You know, fit break. in my meditations and some yoga yesterday. I, um, yeah, went to, back to some basics with yoga and just a little bit of that and just took it easy. And you're right, didn't have to feel like I was missing something. Um, so right. that was, that you have to catch up on later on. Definitely, definitely. So I actually think it's a good move. I think there were, you know, tons of people just pushing themselves to the brink as well. So I think it was a way for people just to slow down and midweek is a good day to do it. You know, you don't feel like yeah. you're... nice sort of midweek forced rest or however you want to use it. You know, if you don't yeah. take a rest, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, so sure. it's, I, it's been nice so far. It, so the first week, definitely it's been was good. nice. Good, good. Yeah. And you, um, you're behaving yourself with your memes. <laughs> Scouts honor. <laughs> okay. We just want to make sure we don't upset anybody out there. We got to We got to We got to stay real. We yeah, got to stay get, real. Don't want to get. Don't want to get put in pillow timeout. Right. Definitely no a, timeout you know, for um, Kenny Bania. They'll, no. Or ring, still have, or ring ring bitch. <laughs> you still want to have full access to uh, PSNY and PSL. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it was harmless, and everybody knows that. But um, it was kind of funny. I did get a good. I did get a good chuckle out of that. Um, Especially yeah, for anyone is... that's not in in the loop or the know, we're we're talking about the the reel that I posted last weekend. It was just some funny. It was the moments that I thought were funniest from Robin's Taylor Swift TTPD ride, where she was sort of like jumbling the words to some of the songs while she was you know heavily breathing and pedaling, um, you know, and sort of rocking out. So it, it got a lot of it was a lot of it was people were pretty harsh on her. I, yeah. I have to say it was yeah. You know, yeah, it's a little, think, little mean. Um, I don't think you expected quite, quite the response that you got, but um, yeah, unfortunately no, there but, are. Yeah, but I did feel, I did feel there. kind of bad for her, so I did. There was a little That's regret okay. there. That's okay. <laughs> well, we, um, yeah, good weekend this weekend back at PSNY. So some classes. Got to see your girl Jen Sherman and yeah. um, a nice work walk with Maddie. So fun to always be there. And um, yeah, I. Um, I'm trying to get like a month, one weekend a month. Not not that easy. Next next month, I was only able to get weightless classes. So um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I'll get into um, into a couple uh, next month when I um, go pick up Nicole to bring her home. But um, yeah, that weightless other, option. That's your friend. Yeah, you got to you got to kind of do that. All right. Well, we yeah. will move straight straight on, um, folks. Before we get started with the show, we always like to remind you how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms. Um, every episode is released on our YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand side of the um, video and hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode. Yes, of course, we're on all podcast platforms. You know that already. If you do want to listen to us, just the audio, if you're on the go, please leave us a review, a five-star review. Uh, in particular, we do appreciate that. And we do do also like to read those reviews and we do really consider that feedback that we receive on how we can, you know, enhance and, and improve the show. So please keep those coming. Yeah. And finally, we're on all um, social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, X, you name it. So just TikTok. search for Hello Body, TikTok. I don't think he ever posts on TikTok, but no, okay. He's got, um, the, he's got the channel, but he's got the lot. channel. 
Yeah. So um, just search for um, you know, search for Pedal Buddy on those um, on those platforms so that you never miss a story because the news is hot from Pedal Buddy. Um, and now, John, I guess we will go right into the show. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. All right. Well, first up, on Thursday morning, uh, this past Thursday morning, the 18th, Peloton a- announced a permanent price drop in the Peloton guide of uh, over a $100 price drop, nearly 50% off from the old price, which was $195. Now it is $95 US. It was launched, um, just a little background, that the Peloton guide device was launched back in April of 2022, initially for $295. Then in February of 2023, they lowered it to $195. Um, obviously, the price drop is likely due to not enough sales, um, as well as just having too much in, in their inventory. And we shared a few weeks ago that Peloton had written off about $9.1 million of guide inventory last quarter. So this uh, drop shouldn't impact um, future quarter earnings and forecasts. But for folks who have been on the fence about getting it or you know waiting to, to get a deal, um, this is probably as good as it's going to get. I think in terms of um, price now, so ninety five bucks, definitely a good deal. I um, still have mine sitting there. Just, uh, mine set it. up. I still got it set up. I haven't used it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's okay, just ridiculous. Not, it's like a joke really, now. We're not a ringing endorsement for for purchasing the guide at ninety five bucks. We're definitely but not. But for ninety five bucks, it's kind of like price. a giveaway, right? I mean, it's like just go for it, just go for it. But um, yeah, I agree. It's um. Yeah, it, it was one of those things that just never, just never got got done properly for me. So um, it's a shame. It's a shame. All right. Well, it does look though um, like we are getting something new at Peloton. Um, our lovely friend and chief content officer Jen Carter hinted at new business categories for Peloton, including nutrition, sleep, and rest. This comes after Peloton's recent announcement, as we mentioned at the top of the show, of this shift um, for its live classes and um, kind of giving us a day off on Wednesdays. Um, So now they're looking at relocating resources to develop more strength content and new programming. And part of that new programming could potentially be what Jen is hinting at that Peloton plans to delve deeper into these areas um, than they have before. So potentially introducing new business streams. Um, Currently, Peloton provides some nutrition tips and, of course, their sleep meditations, um, both through the, you know, through the output blog and existing programs. However, the new initiative may involve more extensive offerings, such as educational content, partnerships, or even branded nutrition products. Further details on these new ventures are yet to be clarified. Of course, we will bring it to you as soon as we know what this next step is, but definitely something to look out for. It could be something really interesting to add into your you know, plethora of um, your activities that yeah. you can do within um, the Peloton framework. So well, I, really nice. I could definitely see products fitting in there, especially with all the instructors seem to have some sort of like pink drink in one of their water bottles and whatever class they're teaching. So I could definitely see a, 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 a tie in there, right? Um, an, an advertisement tie in because people are always asking, you know, I always see on social media on the Peloton page, you're like, what's that pink drink? What's in that? Right. What's in their water bottle? So yeah, yeah. Be an easy, um, a new easy revenue stream. Yeah. Well, moving on, um, the custom audio option. If you haven't heard about this new feature, it's now rolling out to more people. So um, this feature on the hardware devices appeared more than four months ago for a very small group of users. So Peloton appears to be rolling out this custom audio mix feature now to more members throughout this past week. Um, the feature is not yet available to everyone and on all devices. In fact, some members have reported they have the feature, say, on their Peloton bike, but not on their Peloton tread or their row. 
However, it's way more widespread than it was previously as seen on bikes, treads, and rows. Um, as a refresher, Peloton first began testing this custom audio slider feature back in early March. But since then, it has only been available to just a, a very small pool of members. So what this feature allows is it allows users to essentially create this custom audio mix between the music and the instructor using um, a little slide that can be triggered by the volume buttons. So this gives you the ability to do even more fine tuning over the already audio mixing options that you have, um, as opposed to simply just clicking more music or um, more instructor buttons. You can actually turn up the instructor level and turn down the music or turn up the music level and turn down the instructor, depending on which way you want to go, which, which way you want to hear more. So adjusting the volume, it'll bring up this little standard box that provides the various options that we normally see. But now there's this additional custom box that allows you to use the slider to select a point in between the music and the instructor on how you want to shift um, the volume between the two. So um, I haven't seen it yet on any of my devices. I don't know about, about nope, you, Amanda. Nope, I haven't either. But we do... Um, you know, in the write-up for this story on Pelobuddy.com, there's also a little video, too, that we have linked from the Pelobuddy YouTube channel that actually shows a little demonstration of it for, for someone at home that has, has that feature on their device. Yeah, that's that's kind of nice, and I'm sure people will definitely be using that. I just hope they add it to the app, because like I oh. said before, it'd be nice, you know, if you, if you if I pull a clip and post to social media, you know, where it gets flagged for music. Yes. It'd be nice to just can... completely take all the music out if you can or turn really it really good down. point yeah, yeah yeah very good point very good point all right good well peloton is experiencing a bug affecting target metrics and auto resistance in newer on-demand classes on the peloton bike and bike plus and i actually noticed it on the tread too um the story that chris put out there did just say the bike and bike plus but i actually noticed it on tuesday on the tread i don't know if you noticed it um, yeah, if you've yeah. done any on-demand classes. I had done John's on-demand classes from earlier in the morning and the metric, the metrics were um, were completely off. We had some dog some dog issues some, there some in the dogs background. But busting in, they just can't. <laughs> they don't like. Trying to keep them at bay. They don't like the doors closed. Like the fact, so that's too funny. They, they doesn't like the fact that there's some in. issues there. Doesn't like the fact <laughs> that there's some issues. Anyway, um, so I did notice it on my tread as well. So normally target metrics um, display immediately after the class starts. But due to this bug, they are delayed by about a minute or so. The delay causes the metrics to be totally out of sync with the instructor's cues throughout the class, impacting features like auto resistance on the bike plus and the auto uh. incline on the tread. Um, the issues seem to affect only recent on-demand classes from the past week or two. All the classes are not exhibiting this problem. Peloton hasn't officially acknowledged the bug or provided a fix, although some um, folks mentioned that custom, customer support has suggested factory resetting or calibrating the bike, which has not resolved the issue for affected users. So I hey. um, will share more with you next week. As I said, I did see it on my tread as well and was actually going to message John and say, oh, by the way, you know, your metrics are all off. And then I got to see the... Um, Got to see the story. So it's definitely yeah. on both. Huh. Well, a water leak at Peloton Studios New York last Monday caused the cancellation of some classes that were due to take place live in the yoga studio. So a DT's class was quietly removed from the schedule just after she had taught a meditation in that room. And then a bar class was later canceled as well. Um, later that morning, a DD took to Instagram to share what had happened. And she reported that there was a pipe leaking in the ceiling of the yoga studio. And the Peloton team wanted to make you know the necessary precautions to fix the leak as well as keep the production equipment uh, safe as well. So both classes that had been scheduled to have members um, at PSNY that day for, uh, for them as well were canceled. Um, the group who did the meditation staying in the studio for the logo for the yoga class, um, that got canceled. Um, so I guess the folks who were there for that that double stack, I guess they only got one class. Yeah, um, just disappointing. I mean, exit. I was on that meditation actually, and uh, um, I had gone right. You know, I always do her stacks on Monday morning, and um, I yeah, I was waiting to do the 
yoga and it was like so weird. And I actually had two friends in that class. So Michael- Were you not um, able to join? Did it even let you join? Yeah. No, so you so no they they took them all out after the meditation, so they didn't uh, even okay. do the um they didn't even do and and Michael um Michael uh, T- Tan Tran Michael I, why am I Tran? escaping his last name you know Michael yeah Mike that wears the um he wears the, the eyes, eyes. Yeah, yeah 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 I'm I'm blanking on his last name it's either Tran or Tan anyway I messaged him because I saw him in the class and he was like yeah 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 there's a water leak so um that was definitely unfortunate and obviously it took um now that studio is right Tan. underneath tan thank you yeah. um and i apologize michael for getting your last name mixed up um but i that studio is actually right underneath the um restrooms the 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 showers the changing rooms uh, upstairs so i wonder if they may under was an and it's under there. the women's correct yeah correct the women's so locker. um so yeah yeah, so. so there didn't seem to be any other impact to any of the other studios. No other, the cycling, running, uh, the strength, rowing spaces all seemed unaffected. So Correct. Yeah. And no other classes were canceled later on the week, it seems. So it seems yeah. like it's all under control now. Got it all sorted. Well, we, as we said at the top of the show, we had the first week of no live classes. I uh, hope everybody, you know, coped and... Um, didn't, didn't freak out when they saw that it was just encores or premieres uh, that day on the schedule. But um, yeah, so far, week one, uh, we're down no live classes and uh, back back to and, normal now. And as a reminder, um, Thursday, no live classes from PSL either. So yeah. um, it was kind of funny because I, when I woke up this morning, I, I was looking and the first class was the you know, the 6 a.m. Um, New York, not New York class. And I'm like, hmm, there was, and then I remembered, oh, yeah. Uh, London don't have Thursday classes either. So no live classes Wednesday or yep. Thursday from London. Yep. All right. Well, this next story I kind of really was warm and fuzzy. I think it's amazing. So Bex Gentry has announced that she will participate in the Great World Race in November of this year. This event involves running seven marathons in seven countries. Um, or actually That's seven wild. continents, excuse me, seven continents in seven consecutive days. It starts on November the 15th at the end of the world in Antarctica, and it concludes on November the 21st in Miami, Florida. Bex expressed her excitement and nervousness on Instagram where she also shared a video montage of her fellow instructors reacting to the news. She plans to incorporate her training into her Peloton classes over the next few months. And um, as folks may be or may not be aware, she recently completed her sixth star by running the Tokyo Marathon. Um, will yeah. also serve as a commentator at the NBC, uh, for NBC at the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. But for those of you that are curious, participants for the race have um, their travel by charter plane as well as their medical insurance included in the registration fee. So they will be chartered from continent to continent on private planes, and um, they do have medical insurance because you've got to be prepared for something, you know, to potentially happen. Let's pray that yeah. it doesn't, but there is obviously, it's pretty, it's pretty strenuous on your body for that, you know, for that period of time. So um, for interested folks, the race schedule is as follows. It um, kicks off, as I said, on November the 15th um, in Wolf Fang, Antarctica, it then heads to, um, of course, I have a smile on my face, Cape Town, South Africa, which is day two, November the 16th. And this involves six laps of a 7.03 kilometer circuit at the Seapoint Promenade, which is a paved walkway that has the Atlantic coastline on one side and views of Table Mountain on the other. It is a gorgeous stretch of um you know of of uh promenade for, for nothing better um that folks will often you know picnic at and sit at so um beautiful i mean i have walked that i have walked that promenade many many times um and it's a really beautiful beautiful stretch of of land 
Um, yeah. Day three then moves to um, Perth, Australia, which is on November the 17th. Um, the park yeah. is running along the Swan River with the city skyline in the background. It's an eight-leap course of 5.275 kilometers and will be held in the evening when the temperatures will be cooler. So that'll kind of be nice. So they're the, not. she's not actually running 26.2 miles every day? Yes, she's running 26.2 miles every day. Wow. For seven days, but they have them obviously, obviously split up different, you know, different ways. So the one, as I yeah. said, in Cape Town will just kind of be this loop. Sounds like the one in um, Australia will will be similar, where it's kind of a back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Um, the fourth and fifth marathons on November the eighteenth and nineteenth are being held in Istanbul, Turkey, um, on the Asian and European sides of the Bosphorus um, uh, Bridge. So participants will get to run both the Asian continent as well as the European continent right from Istanbul. I had no idea that it uh, apparently it's the only country in the world that shares two continents. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, as I said, it's the only intercontinental city in the world. Um, the hey. night before the races will allow competitors the opportunity to catch up on some well-deserved rest in a luxury hotel um, with the overnight rest coming at a great time just after the halfway point of the race. The sixth marathon on November the 20th will be six times out and back. Um, uh, the course is by the coast of Cartagena in Colombia. The race will then conclude on November the 21st in South Beach, Miami in the United States. So um, I guess they had wow. to figure out, you know, flying and getting from one yeah, continent logistics. to the other and how they, the, you know, how they would do that. Yeah. Um, but wow. I mean, that's really all I can say is, wow, that is going to be one incredible experience and sure, sure for her. Um, I would have loved to have seen Susie Chan doing that next to her, to be honest with you. I think that could have kind of been really fun. Yeah, that seems seen right, in, right up her alley. Right, right up Susie's alley. Was it Blackwater? Uh, Badwater. Like, Badwater. Badwater. Yeah. The experience there. Um, yeah. That's yeah. wild. So anyway, I don't wanted know. to share that with you guys because I did delve into it a little bit more deeply and I wanted to learn a little bit more about how do they get from one continent to the other and with time differences. And Oh, yeah. Um, so it was kind of a nice little summary for you guys to um, appreciate what she's doing. So we'll all but be rooting just, for her in November. It's wild, though. I, I couldn't imagine putting your yeah. body through the stress of doing a, a whole marathon every day back to back for a week. Yeah. It's crazy. And I remember Jeffrey did, um, Jeffrey and I had a couple of friends. Um, uh, my friend, um, Marathon Mom 1976, um, did it as well. They did Boston and then did London. And that was just, you know, that was six days apart. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. So to do it every day for seven days is a wild it's ride. Wild. Pretty impressive. Well, best of luck. Well, fans of Peloton's Arms and Light. Uh, lightweights strength classes may have noticed a new filming location in recent weeks for some of those new 10 minute arms classes that we've seen drop. So for the longest time, there was a noticeable quirk when it came to those arms and lightweight classes, you could only take the content for those on those specific devices. So the classes weren't uh, globally available across different uh, equipment. So even though the instructors, you know, they don't teach cycling or running during these classes, they're, they might still be on a specific device teaching them, such as a bike or the tread. So this means that you couldn't access an arms and lightweight uh, class that was filmed on the bike on the tread device and vice versa. Um, the only workaround was to, was to do it on the app. So this is an interesting setup because, because the classes are found under the strength modality and not specifically under running or cycling. However, some new classes are removing that restriction now by taking place in the Peloton Strength Studio. So starting this past June, Peloton released some arms and weight lights weight classes that can be taken on any device or platform, including the bike or tread, without any restrictions. Um, but not every arms and lightweight class is filmed from the strength studio. There's still a handful of new classes that are dropping periodically to the on-demand library that are filmed from the bike or the tread. But I noticed, um, 
I recently did like a Cody arms class that was pretty recent that was filmed in the strength studio just interesting i just did it on the tread because i like to do it on a nice big screen yeah um, yeah so yeah it's been kind of a nice uh, surprise lately yeah and it certainly will be nice for the instructors that are on just one specific modality so if they're just a tread instructor then folks that just have a bike are able to now do it on yeah. the you know use their bike screen to be able to do a you know a tread instructors um class very nice well, Emma Lovewell has launched a new prenatal core strength program called Cradle Your Core. The program was released um, this past week on July the 15th with the collection including five classes of varying lengths, one five-minute class, two 10-minute classes, and two 15-minute classes. The classes emphasize deep diagrammatic um, um, breathing um, hey. mind-body connection, and offer modifications suitable for all trimesters, provided, obviously, that participants have clearance from their doctor or their birth team to participate. Emma previously hinted at these classes and went through recertification for pre- and postnatal fitness. The Cradle Your Core name is a play on her popular Crush Your Core series, as we all know, and with Emma being um, almost at the end of her pregnancy, I guess. Um, it comes at a really appropriate time. So, um, yeah. you know, very, very fun for those folks that, uh, you know, are pregnant and would like to be able to continue crushing their core, even with a little human growing inside. It's kind of really cool. It's great. Well, Peloton has debuted a new collection dedicated to all the Pilates classes that include equipment. The Pilates with Equipment equipment Collection on Peloton can now be accessed uh, via the hardware, the app, the web browser. The official collection description reads, Join Aditi, Anna, and Kristen for these Pilates workouts specifically programmed with accessories. It's interesting that they include Kristen there as she's no longer with Peloton as of, as of recently. Um, each class feature is... Uh, features either a ball, a band, a ring, or sliders to help enhance your workout. And the collection right now currently contains a total of 18 classes with the DT, Anna, and Kristen McGee. Um, the class, uh, the collection has specific sections for the types of equipment you will use in each class. And currently, the different Pilates accessories in the Peloton classes include the ball, as I said, sliders, band, and ring. In addition to classes that previously aired from earlier this year, uh, four new classes were released um, straight to the on-demand library. So we've got um, some new classes uh, for Pilates with a ball from Aditi and Anna. There's a 15-minute with Aditi, a 10-minute with Anna. There is a new Pilates with sliders, a 10-minute one from Aditi. And then a new Pilates uh, with a ring. That's a 10-minute one uh, that was taught by Anna. Nice. Really nice. It does kind of make me a little sad because um, this was definitely something that Kristen had uh, pushed out there. Yeah, um, especially you know, using, she had brought... what did she call it, her magic ring? Yeah. Doing yeah. some, some so, Pilates um, Fridays with equipment. And I'm yeah. pleased that they're now incorporating it into their Pilates classes. But um, it did kind of. I had a little lump in my throat when I saw that because I felt, uh, you know. Yeah, I felt like Any... that, that was her thing that she kind of led yeah. the, the charge yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Look, we got to move on. We got to move on. So, um, you know, they're moving on. Well, each week we share with you Peloton's featured classes for the um, previous week that they release. And this past week, the week of July the 15th to the 24th, they included several new and exciting offerings. Um, first up was Christian Vandervelde's um, Pro Cyclist Ride. It was a 45-minute um, Pro Cyclist Race um, Simulation Ride available hey. on demand starting um, on July the 15th at 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So that's when it dropped. There were the new Summer Celebrations Outdoor Walks and Runs, which became available on demand on July the 18th. There was the New Wave Yoga Flow with Kira Michelle. It's a, a live 30-minute yoga class that dropped on July the 19th at 2 p.m. And then, as um, John had just mentioned, the Pilates with equipment, the new Pilates classes featuring equipment like sliders, resistance bands, balls, etc. 
Um, those classes and the new collections launched on the 17th at 10 a.m. Uh, so those uh, were yeah, this past week at Peloton. All right. Well, we had a new producer series, not artist series. It's labeled the Jack Antonoff Producer Series that um, went down this past Thursday, the 18th. It included a total of five classes across five modalities, all in English, and all of them occurred live. So to kick it off, uh, we got a 20-minute Jack Antonoff Intermediate Full Body Strength that was taught by Robin, a 30-minute yoga flow with Mariana, a 30-minute ride from Allie, 30-minute run from Camilla, a 20-minute row from Katie. And then just to give some background, so Jack Antonoff, um, in addition to being a, a producer and collaborator with a lot of art, with a lot of well-known artists, most notably probably Taylor Swift, he's also the lead singer of the rock band Bleachers. He was previously the guitarist and the drummer for the band Fun and is the former lead vocalist of the indie rock band Steel Train. Um, and Peloton's yeah, caption indicates that um, the songs Antonov produced for other prominent artists will also be included in the class playlist. So we should hopefully hear some, I'm sure, some Taylor Swift. Um, you know, just last week, Peloton had their long-anticipated Taylor Swift, the Tortured, Tortured Poets Department Artist Series, and Antonov is, you know, one of Very much her, involved top, in that. Yeah, her top producing partners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, I said this so many times, it's it's just a, an amazing way how Peloton spotlight or highlight folks that we may not have heard about or known about. I mean, I didn't know who he was. I certainly didn't know he was her producer. Um, so it's just a nice way, I guess, of getting them out there and getting their names out there, whether it be an artist, you know, that we're not familiar with that they bring into an artist series or something like this. Um, yeah. But I know they've done a couple producer stuff before. I don't think this is the first uh No, no, uh, definitely the first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Peloton released a German language version of the half marathon training program, Road to Half Marathon German version. Uh, this program features dubbed versions of the original English classes, maintaining the same playlists and class structures. The program includes 10 weeks of training with four classes per week, and it's available in the collections area of the Peloton app, providing flexibility for participants to follow their own schedule. So if folks um, from the German community, you know, would prefer to do it in German, now they have that opportunity to do so. Thanks. Well, Amazon Prime Day just went down this past July 16th and 17th. So we wanted to just recap what the pricing, what uh, Peloton equipment was listed, if you happen to take advantage of that and, and save some money there. So the Peloton Row um, was a part of that. It was priced at $26.95 US, which is $300 off or 10% discount. Same thing with the Tread. It was a 10% discount. So it was priced at $26.95. That's the Peloton Tread, not the Tread Plus. So a $300 off savings. The bike... Um, the original Peloton bike was priced at $1,011, which was $434 off the normal price or 30%. And then the bike plus was priced at $1,995, which was $500 off or a 20% discount. And then the, the Peloton guide, um, which is permanently priced now at $95, that was on sale for $95, which is a hundred bucks off or a 51% discount. Right. And we seem to be getting new apparel dropped every week. This past week on Wednesday, Peloton released a new drop of their seamless and cadent apparel. The collection includes new ultra soft performance styles, perfect to energize your workout. And I did want to add that I found it rather um, interesting with Ali Love's drop we spoke about last week how there must have been a memo that went out to the instructors to say plug Addie Love's apparel yeah. <laughs> because every single instructor had something on their social media about the apparel and I've never seen that oh, before. Yeah. There, Did you notice that? Office, uh, there, I'm sure there's an inner office memo that goes out to, to, to get that out in the 
It was definitely, I mean, it was lovely to see, but it was just folks that don't typically talk about apparel were on there, you know, sharing Ali's, um, Ali's new apparel. So, um, yeah. yeah. I hope that went well. For it, her. it seems like a lot of instructors these days are, are plugging a lot of they're, More they're putting stuff. a lot of links in their stories, really mm. like push, you know, putting out products. Uh, Definitely brand more of that than we're used to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I All guess right. we will go right into instructor in the news. And why did you kick it off? Well, a big congratulations are in order to a German Peloton instructor Marcel Maurer, who recently got married. He shared the news via Instagram with a video of him and his wife, Ina. Is it? Is it pronounced Ina? Mm-hmm. Celebrating their civil ceremony. Um, the civil ceremony took place uh, this past July 12th. The couple also had a church ceremony and reception the following day on the 13th. Um, the festivities um, took place in Hamburg, Germany, which is Marcel's hometown. Um, so a big shout out to them on the. Yeah, well, it's fun to couple. see. He's. He's really cool on social media. I don't know if you get to see, you know, because there's so much that comes out there, but he just does some really cool social media stuff. And his wedding um, uh, took the cake, I think. He had them in the civil ceremony. I don't know if you saw this, John, but they were in an elevator shaft and they had his whole wedding party kind of coming up and down the elevator shaft with them coming at the end. And they were like kind of open, like an open, I guess it was at the courthouse maybe, but it was so well produced. I couldn't believe he took the time to think about that while he was getting married. Uh, but he did. And it was really an amazing reel that he put together. Um, and then, of course, uh, some of the instructors obviously went um, to the wedding. I saw that Eric and Jeffrey, um, Cliff yeah, I saw and some his of their wife stories. Uh, were, all, were all at was the... Benny, um, was Benny there? I do not was think Benny teaching? was there. I think Benny was away. No, I actually think yeah. Benny was on vacation. I think he was in Portugal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay. yeah. So, um, yeah. And, and I'm kind of sad, like Tobias is just gone. You know, we spoke about him having, you know, left and he just kind of slid out and there's like nothing about so Tobias. Disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have thought maybe he would have been at the wedding, but, um, I did not see him. And then Ugh. moving on, huge congrats to Matt Wolpers. I mean, talk about Bex Gentry, but Matt Wolpers is just as awesome um, he just finished uh, another Ironman, a 70.3 Ironman in five hours, 18 minutes, and 16 seconds. Matt shared his race report on his Instagram, saying that overall things went well, but for the heat. Um, as we all know, you know, the United States has gotten a, an excessive heat wave over the last couple of weeks. The temps for this particular Ironman were in the 80s to low 90s. And he said it was definitely a factor, um, which yeah. he says always makes his stomach a little bit more sensitive. Um, Matt shared that the swim part was choppy, but went pretty smoothly. Um, the sun was less blinding than the last time he competed because he thinks they may have changed the direction of the course. So that was interesting. Uh-huh. For the cycling, he said that he had a dropped chain right at the beginning that was tough to dig out, but that he was able to get going again. He said that the roads were super smooth with small rolling hills. The bike, and chain, then the bike chain came off his bike. Bike chain, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he said not kind of near the beginning. Yeah. But the actual course, he said, was you know super smooth. There were some hills, um, but then mostly flat. Um, and having lots of beautiful views along the way definitely helped. With the run, Matt said that he started out slow to make sure that he didn't overcook himself, only to pick it up along the way until his stomach started catching up yes. with him, which had him slow down a bit. But he um, did say that he held it together until the end. Um, he went on to thank his coaches as well as those Peloton members and, of course, his team Wolpers community, who he said were out along the course and was so appreciative for all the cheers and hellos. I did not take note of where it was held. You you have no idea. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, 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 yeah, couldn't re- I, I couldn't recall if you had mentioned the location. No, but... and I'm just thinking about it. I do not know, in fact, where it actually took place so i apologize about that folks but um i'll see if john's on the next story if i can pull that up great reporting amanda 
<laughs> Excellent. What can I say? I thought I did such a good job about his actual um, race report, but I didn't get the other part. Well, while, while, while Amanda's digging for the location details, uh, Emma Lovewell uh, was a guest on this week's episode of the show Magnolia Table with Joanna Gaines. In the episode, they make some traditional Asian dishes, including, oh man, I don't know how to pronounce this, Jap, Jap Chai, Jap Chai, Yaki gyoza and egg drop soup as a, an homage to um, Joanna's favorite childhood cookie. They bake a delicious almond butter cake for dessert. And then Jess King also uh, shared a fun throwback uh, video of her solo dance on the Fox show. So you think you can dance, which is a re reality dance show competition. Um, she had the clip of her dance routine from the show playing on the TV in her living room. And then she basically reenacted it just as it was playing out aside from, I think like the, the sort of like the flip that she did because she, um, because of her, of, of her attire, I don't think it was very conducive to all those different movements that she was doing from the show. Um, but her caption in the post on Instagram said, found my solo from at dance on Fox days. You know, I had to see it. If you know, I had to see if I still have it. Honestly, I slayed it even in jeans. <laughs> she's so funny um you know it's pretty impressive to see i gotta say um but it's definitely impressive and i kind of enjoyed watching the the old you know clip yeah, of that as well it was definitely fun she got All some right, i do want to give you some more some more facts um that i just pulled up so it was actually up in new york it was in geneva new york um this ah. is for matt wolper's iron man um and some interesting stats yeah he placed 26 out of 109 for the swim for his age group so men 40 to 44, impressive. which is very impressive. 175th place out of 868. This was by gender for the cycling portion. Yeah. And um, 222nd place out of 1,418 that participated overall, um, which was which was definitely an impressive, um, an impressive number. So um, we can say... We know that coach, and he is um, an Iron Man again. So that was really well done to um, to Matt. Um, and I Great. guess John, that there wasn't much instructor in the news this past week, so we can kick right off into um, the class picks of the week. And why don't you kick it off? All right. First up, Bex Gentry's sixty-minute progression run from July eleventh. All biz Liz said, "Great format, stories, and music." Excellent class overall. And then Allie loves 30-minute Taylor Swift TTPD bar class from July 11th. Kim Thousand and Lindsay T. Gamble said, Allie's bar classes are always good, but combined with this playlist, even better. And then Anna Greenberg and Aditi Shah's 30-minute Taylor Swift TTPD yoga flow. Also from July 11th, Sally HZ2 said, great to see the two of them teaching together. Great two-for-one class. That really was a fun class. I really enjoyed that yoga class. They did a great job um, interacting with one another as well. So that was And you fun. know, Pel Pel uh, Peloton, Insta uh, Peloton Studios Instagram, they posted a fun reel. I think it was on other social channels. And it was just a great sort of quick clip show of all the TTPD classes. But they took it down just because people were just being so harsh and mean about Robin's oh, class. That's a shame. Um, and, it, and it didn't have any music in it, but it was just a great uh, like, quick cut from one class to the their, other of just their... random moments. And yeah, it was kind of a bummer they, they pulled that. That is too bad. Well, carrying on with the TTPD um, Tortured Peloton you know, Department um, artist series, of course, Olivia Amado's 30 minute um, run. Uh, uh, came to us from Heather Fiore and Katie Carey. They said perfect playlist and she had options to advance. Oh, um, and she had options to advance if you wanted, which made it challenging if you wanted. Um, I did it live and it was, it was amazing. And it I, was amazing. I posted about it. Um, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. I, the um, song selection was really good and I, and I pushed it hard. Like, you know, I, I got, competitive with it i think at you know when I, I don't know what my what my place is uh on the, the current ranking you know considering yeah. all the people that have taken it but i think i finished second or third wow um, when i did it live because i did go all out but she um 
she had down bad placed perfectly right in the middle as kind of like a rest. So I actually walked for about two minutes to kind of just catch my breath, breath and, and yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. the song. But it was it was really good. Yeah. Highly yeah. recommend. Um, yeah. So uh, moving on, because that was all that made it, um, <laughs> was Mariana. No more TTPD. No, no, although I will Nobody say. Nobody submitted and I, and Charlotte. I, I heard good things about Charlotte's ride. Well, I, and I German. have to say Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's run was amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't. Um, I, I didn't give this to, to Chris before um, before he put these out, but Jeffrey's run was amazing. And, you know, it just, it does frustrate me though that I can't understand, you know, and I try so hard. He With definitely the, the throws language. in, he definitely throws in English and I'm very appreciative of that. It's, yeah, um, it's nice that he throws an English bone here and there. He um, does, he does. So you kind of do have an idea. Are, are taking uh, it so here. many of us are on there. Um, but yeah. that was, that was really amazing. And I apologize, Jeffrey. And I know you listened to the show that I didn't pick that as a pick of the week. I didn't put in anything this week. Um, but it, it was fantastic. Um, all right, moving on. And this one did come from me was, um, as well as Sweaty Mombard 2, was Mariana Fernandez's 45 minute walk plus run. It um, dropped the following day after the big TTPD um, artist series drop on the 12th. And um, our little cunning sly Mariana did a Taylor Swift inspired uh, um, workout. Uh, it was fantastic. The soundtrack um, uh, songs that she picked were amazing, and it did have the class absolutely fly by. Um, I really love her Walk Plus runs because her her structure of these classes are just so fantastic. I'm always a little intimidated in her straight runs because she's such a strong yeah. runner, but her walks and her Walk Plus runs are very manageable for me. And this one was really, really well structured. So huge kudos to Mariana um, for that particular um, uh, class. And then here it is, Charlotte Wiedenbach. And I guess oh, that nice. one dropped on the Friday. So that's why it came a little bit. We, we're only saying this now. But her 30-minute yeah. um, ride came to us from George R.K. Ryder. Um, they said this was everything a Taylor Swift ride should be and more. It was in German, and it did drop on the Friday, the twelfth. Yeah, that that one was live on that Friday. I was gonna do it. It was it was live at eleven a.m. Eastern time, but Cody has an eleven thirty pop ride, and then Andy has his his noon. So I always have to do. I always have to actually get unclip two minutes before the ride is over to get on the Andy tread because I don't want to. I don't want to join the Treadcast late and be behind on the leaderboard at the right. top of the class. Oh, wow, because God forbid. God, God forbid. forbid I, I start out at, at the bottom. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. I don't know. You have you have a knack of just passing people at the end. So, you know, uh, who knows? I mean, who knows? I... I, you, you uh, when you're on the tread, you go yeah. until that clock ticks to zero. Okay, I understand, you but I was up. way ahead of you <laughs> right throughout I, that walk. You, you I'm must just have really saying, eased up. Didn't ease up at all, but um, that was a pretty I tough. Somebody, somebody was nipping at my heels on that walk and talk, or that whatever that or that Maddie walk. Yeah, and so I had to take my incline all the way up to fifteen. <sighs> make sure you protect myself and then when the ride was over i was like oh man i really leapfrog over amanda I... <laughs> yeah. including you i was like oh I, I was waiting for the text to, i was waiting for came, the text from you, you right bastard yeah there right it off. is <laughs> didn't disappoint there thank you all right all Let's right keep shifting going. over to the tread adrian williams 30 minute live dj run from <laughs> july 12th we got that from strong as a mother strong as a mother and Allison 8699, they said the live DJ runs and rides, for that matter, are always a great time. And then Rebecca Kennedy, 30-minute low-impact cardio from July 12th. Just Dance Lisa said these low-impact cardios are some of the best. And then Susie Chan, 60-minute intervals run from July 13th. Daisy Mac said perfect structure and hit my fastest interval speeds, and they were long interval blocks. Nice. And then moving to the bike, Bradley Rose's 30-minute 80s ride from the 13th. This 13th, this one came to us from Speech MD, um, fun 80s playlist, and it was a Rebels takeover. So great to see the Rebels taking over the studio again. 
Um, they bring so much energy and so much fun. And Bradley is truly just um, the most incredible instructor when it comes to his um, to his fan base. Um, I have to say, he gives them so much kudos. It's amazing to see the uh, appreciation that he has for um, for Sarah and for the Rebels, and um, that was really really fun to see. Um, and then Callie Galaxon, her thirty minute full body strength um, from the thirteenth. Um, I believe I they're still, they still have new one. drops. I, they're right? really stretching those out or she they must have recorded absolutely. a lot. So, um, yep. So this was love having new classes drop from Callie, even while she's out. This one came to us from Karen um, Zemskberry. And then Christian van der Velde's 45 minute pro cyclist race simulation um, from the 15th. This one came to us from Just Dance Lisa and said he is so inspiring and takes you on a real adventure in this class. All right, rounding out the final picks of this week, Christine Dierkle's, uh 30-minute low-impact ride from July 15th, Spinner 2, Spinner 2 TR3, said Christine leads a solid low-impact class with a good playlist to go along with the class. And then Chelsea Jackson Roberts, 20 minute hip hop yoga flow from July 15th. Yoga Miss said, Great flow from Chelsea with a great hip hop playlist. And then finally, Jess Sims, 20 minute walk plus run from July 17th. Jennifer D'Amelia, Gemini Bell, and No Glaze Donut Ho <laughs> said, Some great motivation from Jess in this one, like put your purpose in pen, but put your path in pencil. Nice, nice. And um, it is, I, it would be remiss for me not to add there that I assume that Amajar 3 must be on vacation because oh, yeah. we got nothing. We didn't nothing. say her name once. No. So um, I hope that it's vacation and that um, you are well. If you are listening right. to the show, we miss your picks of the week this week. So Slacker. hopefully you will be back next week um because we really do appreciate you putting so much effort into sending those out to us so um didn't want to have it go unnoticed that we didn't have an amajar three pick of the week um this week and then i also wanted to throw it out i meant to say it in the instructor in the week um but i'll throw it out there i know that chelsea jackson roberts is on her way to singapore um we had mentioned previously that she was going to be out there for lululemon i uh, will definitely hey, talk about it next singapore. week but Yes, yes. We had spoken huh? about it. Um, she's going as an ambassador for Lululemon and she is doing a um, class out there for um, interested folks. Um, but I just wanted to wish her safe travels. It, um, I had no idea. And she posted this and I guess that's what made me think about saying it is that the, the route from New York to Singapore is the longest flight route in the world. And she's on that flight. I think it's 22 hours um, on the flight, which is just insane to me. Absolutely 22 hours insane. of flight time with of how many time. connections? Um, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that no connections? I think it. it I think it is. Let me wow. double check. I think it is a direct um, flight. Now, I have to tell you. Yeah. Flight. Total flight time. 22 hours and 10 minutes. Um, Damn. I guess there must be a stop somewhere because you're right. It does say yeah, Singapore to New York long. flight. Well, no, listen to this. It's 18 hours, hours 40 fuel. minutes. 18 hours, 40 minutes. So there must Boom. be, she obviously flies to somewhere and then, yeah. um, and then there. It's the, um, it is the longest flight to date. Isn't that crazy? Uh, so um, I assume she has not, uh, does not have her little one with her. Um, but um, wishing her a safe trip there and back and hopefully an incredible experience. I'm sure we'll talk about it next week on the show. Um, yeah. And boy, that wraps it up for us, John. Look at us. I mean, under a three. Another, another nice tight show. Under, under an, under an, yeah, under, a, under an hour and um, pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, as always, folks, thank you so much for joining us and tuning in, listening, and getting all the latest news in what is happening in the Peloton world. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening, and we will see you next week from me here. Bye for now, everybody. And from me here in Michigan, appreciate you watching and listening from all over. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard. Bye for now. 
Thank you for watching Pelo Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton. By the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pelo Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pelo Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pelo Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.